What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude here, and we are back, and we're playing some fighters now. Obviously, you can see hands-free today. I am watching myself play fighters, and I have a little bit of a discussion. Now, the reason I'm playing fighters is pertinent to the discussion. What I'm discussing today is how, how Hero Coliseum is developing, and how I really, I'm having, I love playing the game. I will keep pushing out Hero Coliseum content, guys, but... Let me know if there's any other content you would like to see because I, I want to try new content on the channel. Ooh, look at this. Brother, you dead. You, you dead. Nope. Mugs can't close. And then you got it because your boy was reactions on fleek. But, as I was saying, Hero Coliseum is a very fun game, guys, and I love Hero Coliseum. It literally, at this point, is I hop on to play it just to record and then I don't want to play it after because I love it. I love Hero Coliseum. Clearly, in my opinion, is better than PvP in Hero, in when it comes to Xenoverse, the the world of Xenoverse. But it's the way how RNG is so prominent in it. You can literally lose matches because of RNG, and I have no problem with the game having an RNG aspect to it. Obviously, I have no problem. I literally been summoning. I've been I play Dokkan. I play games that have RNG, but I don't mind RNG when it comes to summoning. But the fact that this person that I played the other day. Got so many doubles in one match. He got 11 in four turns. That means he only had one figure not get a double. I was blown away the entire time. Because I literally would have won if that man wouldn't have gotten one double. And then you have me over here getting three doubles. The entire fight. I think the game needs some type of like update. I know they're not going to update Hero Coliseum. Uh, Hero Coliseum is a, is a thing. They just put new figures out because it's a cash cow and that's it. That's simple, and like I feel like that's very obvious. I don't think they're ever going to add a new mechanic. Like They added the skip feature, but I don't know. I would like for them to add a little bit of... Um, ooh, Mugs, look at you doing it. Basic blue Goku combo, but I am trash at the game. I'm just saying that. I'm not bad at it. See right there, I would have needed to press it early. And Mugs just doesn't even 2H the super dash. And then you super dash, Mugs. Mugs, you are not... I wanted to super dash there. I've been having a habit of super dashing. Brother. Put him in the dirt, Mugs. Put him in the dirt. Nope. My movement is crap as well. Like, I'm just going to say that. Boom, smash him down to the ground, Tian. Yeah, right here I could have killed you. Or I, I thought I was close. I don't know when yours run out. I don't know when his runs out, but it was... I had you close. Like, look at that. You're on teetering on death, bro. And then you dead. And then you died, not and then you dead. But I love Hero Coliseum to death, guys. But I don't know if I can keep playing the game if RNG is gonna be so one sided for fights. Like there's not there's not even a standard for the game anymore. I love Hero Coliseum. I will continue to push it out. I know what I said. I said I just said I don't know if I can keep playing this game. I will play it if you guys would like to see it. I have no problem with that. It literally is just if there's a problem when the game starts to lose its fun factor and you stop playing it for the reasons you started playing in the first place. Like, I loved playing it because it was so interesting and the, like, the strategies and stuff. But with today's figures that hit so hard, if you have RNG on your side and you get doubles, you're going to win more than likely. Like, doubles are a huge factor in this game that not a lot of people, like, realize. If you can get two attacks basically on somebody because the double does half of what your attack damage it mugs, you're running into There's a full screen super dash, brother. This man was actually pretty good. After, I think you see me fight him four times, and I think I cut the recording short, but he actually starts to pick up the pace and he actually starts to like body me a little bit, and then you boy had to try hard. But, <clears throat> yeah, my combos are not smooth. Like, he just, that was a delayed uh, vanish. And I literally was like, an, I was so early on the super dash. No, punish that. You punish it. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say, Mugs, you are not good at fighters. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I've said, I just said it. <laughs> I'm not good at fighters in any way. And all y'all, because shout out to, I believe, I forget who it was, but you said that you are a living legend. If you're a living legend, props, because you'd absolutely smash, you'd absolutely smash me. Nope, 2H. And then I'm dead. Oh, no. Tell me I win with a nope. Couldn't have 2H'd it, Mugs? You couldn't have 2H'd it, brother? Why are you doing that? But <clears throat> let me know how you guys feel about Hero Coliseum in general. I'm still going to be talking about it. But let me know how you guys feel about Hero Coliseum in general and the RNG aspect of it. Because I love it. 
I love the game. I love the figures. I love the strategy. I love the team building. I love all of that. But I, it's starting to lose its, like, starting to lose that zest. Like, it had zest at the beginning of this, and now I'm just like, it's no longer fun for me to play it. It literally is I play it because people like to see it, and I love to see it. I love to, I love to see Hero Coliseum. I want to see it get better, and I want to see them actually make a game of it. That would be pretty cool if Dragon Ball literally released an actual game dedicated to Hero Coliseum. He didn't die here. Um, and when, if that does ever happen, I want them to fix the double situation or the RNG situation in general. Like, the fact that there's two big factors in this game that involve RNG, and if one of them, if both of them aren't on your side, you're losing. Like, for instance, if you're, if you're a man that gets a lot of doubles, for some reason RNG just loves you and you get like five doubles a game, six doubles, seven doubles a game. That's pretty good, and more than likely you're going to do more damage because you're getting more doubles. Now, another big factor that plays into it that might actually have more of an effect than the, um, more effect than the, what's it called, more effect than the doubles is the number system, the, the percentage system, the speed system. If that number does not, like, if that rotation does not favor the way your team is built, you are probably going to lose because if you want to go second and you don't get SEC skills and you keep going first because somebody knows what you're doing, well, guess what? You're not going to win because nobody's going to have that defensive buff of SEC, of SEC skills, and all that's going to happen is you're just going to get absolutely mollywhopped, guys. Another thing I would like to say is, um, another thing I would like to say is, if you're trying to go first and you have two speed teams and you both want to go first. And you are not getting 300s. You're literally getting 190s. More than likely, you are going to lose. Like, and it's like it's just a simple matter of the fact that you just have to deal with the game that's RNG. Ooh, mugs with the mugs. I'm not bad. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not the worst fighters player in the world. I'm Super Saiyan 3 Orange Square, which isn't terrible. I used to be a Pink Square at one point, and then I got dropped down to Gold because I literally was getting bodied. But yeah, my BP is not looking too good. I'm not Beerus tier. I'm not Blue Super Saiyan Blue, Zeno, whatever. I, f I think there's new ones. I thought there was new ones. What's the highest rank you can get on fighters? Comment down below. I forget on ranked. I mean, obviously, Pink Square is the highest you can get on uh, casual and stuff. Get mugs. Pressure. Don't get BP'd like that. I super dash a lot. That's my biggest issue. I super dash a lot because my movement's bad, and I don't. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to maneuver around the map without having to super dash and actually like my control is a little funky but still like fighters is all about how good your movement is without using super dash like because if you're constantly using super dash to get across the map like 2h like a good player will 2h you right there i was i literally was watching i think i was watching the fighters world cup super dash see i didn't need to do that i could have dashed to the right or the left but yeah mug you getting bodied by a you getting bodied by a pink man as well but kid boo block it brother the good thing is my defense has actually gotten pretty well. Run up. Mugs, what are you doing? Oh, give me the 2H. That's a nice meaty 2H. Take the level one. I tried to bait the I tried to bait the 2H in. I tried to I tried to 2H, I tried to bait the super dash. Oh, you could have 2H there. Oh, the defense is looking real. Whoop! The challenge by Mug the Dude. Mug the Dude is coming in, guys. Let's see what he does. He's trying to corner trap him. Let's see what happens. I'm live commentating. This is Mug's live commentating. This isn't me live commentating. I don't fake that. I'm not Ali A. What you talking about, really? Whoop! <clears throat> All right, guys. But as I was saying, if the number system in Hero Coliseum does not isn't on your side even in the slightest bit, more than likely you're going to lose. There's two big factors in the game that involve RNG that can severely hinder your chances of winning a game. Especially against somebody that is high level and knows what they're doing, there is no way you're going to win if the number system isn't on your side. I have played this game long enough to figure out that if you want to get a one, if you want to get 300s and you're only getting 190s and they have a speed team, well, guess what? More than likely, you're going to freaking lose. Same thing as if you're going defensive setup. Like I said, if you want three, if you want 100s and you're getting 290s and stuff, you're dead. Do I kill him here? Because I know I dropped the combo. Yep, right there. I could have killed you. He's getting hit hard. That annoyed me because I could have killed you, bro. You lucky. You lucky I'm still working on that. And by working on that, I mean trying to figure it out because it never wants to work. GG. This man's pretty good. Comment down below what rank you are in fighters and let me know if you guys would ever like to play because I will be live streaming today. 
But by live streaming, I mean, well, I'll be live streaming and I'll probably be playing some fighters. I probably will be playing as many games as I possibly can play because that the last stream I did, three and a half hour stream, was very entertaining and in my opinion, it was probably one of the best things like I've ever done. That was an amazing stream, guys, and I love streaming with you guys. I love talking to you guys. Love giving suggestions for teams. Love giving advice. I just love talking. Like, it literally is. Like, I don't care if 50 people hop in. Shout out to all y'all. <clears throat> Shout out to all the 50 people that watch the stream, and I will stream, and literally just, it's whatever games you guys want to see. Your boy, like, we played, we played Dead by Daylight last weekend. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not the best at Dead by Daylight, but I got scared the entire time, because I literally jumped, and I actually jumped, you can see it, ooh, mugs with the challenge. Do I win here? Because Blue Goku, literally every game, would get absolutely thrashed in the first five seconds. See, Super Dash a lot. Like, you, if you if you want to beat me in Fighters, 2H. Literally just sit in the corner in 2H because I'm not doing anything to you. I am no danger to anybody that is good at this game. Like, if you want to body me, you can body me. Ooh. See, right there, I need to do it faster. And Vegito's combos are absolutely disgusting because he literally has the best uh, uh, square combo. One of the best. He's like a Bardock. He has one of the best square combos. And I might just be... I might just be talking to talk. Come on, mugs. I need to learn how to reflect. That's another thing. <clears throat> Sorry if this video is a little bit weird. This literally is me just ranting about Hero Coliseum, commentating over some fighters because I'm watching my gameplay right now on my Elgato uh, software. But yeah, I'm wasting. I'm literally wasting bars at this point just to waste out the sparking. Hey, keep it. Oh, he doesn't even have sparking anymore. Mugs, you could have. Oh, I have sparking. Who did I? Why did I spark? Did I try to save somebody? Did I try to save Vegito? Early spark, but all my characters have the exact same health, basically. This is gonna hurt. Kid Blue's gonna be hurting. Run up 2H, bro. That's the one thing I really need to get. Like, Rose's 2H is such a long range. I have to really time, like, almost everything Kid Blue's in. GG to that, man. Is this the last fight? I think this is the last fight. Alright, so we got Blue Goku. And we got Vegeta. Who, who's going to win this? I'll give you a hint. I think it's me. I think I win this. No way I win this, bro. Yeah, there's no way I win this. Now that I think about it. Yeah, GG. GGG, a boy mugged a dude. Jesus, mug. You got stomped that fight. See, I'm, can I at least take out two characters, mugs? Like, Jesus. Learn how to play the game, muggy. GG. You brought in TN just for the disrespect, guys. But that is going to do it for the video. I hope to catch you guys. That is going to do it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share the content, all that good stuff. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on Hero Costume and the RNG situation. Because I am all for playing a game i'm all for playing hero coliseum but i do not like the fact that it's so rng based that it literally hinders you from winning a game like, it wouldn't matter if rng was like a little part of it but it literally is two huge parts of a game that is literally strategy and can come down to a matter of like a hundred or tens bro like that is the biggest issue with this game is if you are tr if you are having a close match and somebody gets a double and you don't well that's the match like you're dead like that's like there's so many things that can be one deciding factor like one double not being one double not you not getting one double or them getting a double that can literally decide the match between you winning and losing and i know your mugs are probably overreacting what are you doing no i'm not i'm literally telling you how i actually feel about this game now guys like i said let me know if you guys are playing hero coliseum obviously i'm still going to be playing hero coliseum i'm just going to try and like <clears throat> the one problem is it got it it, it lost its Wow, mugs. Drink some. <clears throat> it lost its pizzazz and fun and like playable, playableness, playability very much with me right now. But I'm going to try and get back on the grind and get better at Hero Coliseum. But that was going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Hope to catch you on the next video. Thought deuces, everybody.